Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Hey, Karen Gustros with RealAgriculture.com. We're back with another corn school here in Southern Alberta. It is a hot day, and as we like to say, it is corn growing weather out here today. And I have Alana Surhan, who is a market development specialist with Pride Seeds. How's it going today? Great, it's hot out here. So can you tell me a bit about some of the questions you've been getting in central and parts of Alberta about tillering? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a lot of growers and farmers are uh, uh, have been noticing in their fields uh, lots of tillers being present. Um, some are noticing it more in other varieties or different conditions. Um, so depending on different situations, uh, it's been noticed to be a lot more tillers or the presence of them um, isn't, isn't really being seen. Uh, if we take a look out here at the field we're in right now, uh, I'm seeing a little bit of tillering. Um, a lot of guys are asking, well, is that a positive or that is a negative? Well, the answer is both, essentially. Uh, it is a positive, uh, it's looked at as a positive and meaning you can push the population of that hybrid. Typically when you have the, the presence of tillers, it means there's a lot of new nutrients available, a lot of fertility available in the field, uh, telling you that that, that uh, specific variety could have been planted at a little bit of a higher population. Um, switch gears uh, to uh, a bit of the uh, a bit of the negative aspect of it. Some guys are looking at that vegetative growth as taking away from the the kernel development, the cob development that's already supposed to be there. Um, so so those are the two angles of that. Um, so how much would you say it actually takes away from the corn stand itself? So I wouldn't necessarily say it takes away from it. Um, in the end, that uh, that corn that corn stalk is going to work to fill one cob the best it can. Um, so it's going to pull all the nutrients from that from that uh, tiller, and it's going to go to work and, and fill the fill one consistent year to the best of its ability. And how would something like does weed control play into tillering? Yeah, so weed control is uh, something that we've also had a lot of uh, discussion about this uh, this spring and, and kind of now as we go back and look through the cornfield and, and weed suppression and things like that have actually been showing up a lot and it's my message to tell growers and farmers the importance of weed control in corn cannot be understated. Um, corn needs to be weed free until at least four leaf. Some literature says up until eight leaf um, and what a lot of, a lot of growers are seeing is that this was a very challenging spring for a number of reasons and after that first pass of glyphosate another flush of weeds had come through um, and a lot of guys were hesitant to make that second pass through the field but my message was power on power through uh, you need to keep that corn corn field clean um, with weed pressure uh, before that four leaf stage you're going to be losing in a grain crop about a about a bushel of corn a day um, and when you put that into perspective guys think uh, dollar signs so as you'll see in this field right here, we have a little bit of presence of tillers um, and the importance of spacing. Uh, if you look here at the gap that we have, uh, singulation isn't quite perfect. It's not that picket fence that we want to see. And as a result, uh, a tiller has come on the next uh, plant that has emerged. Uh, just one example of why uh, picket fence and uh, spacing is extremely important in a cornfield. Okay, and can you elaborate more on what picket fence is for those of that's what may not. <laughs> uh, picket fence is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it, it's that perfect spacing between every single plant. Um, it needs its own area to grow. It needs its own area to collect uh, nutrients to put it down a good root mass. Perfect uh, six inch spacing or four inch spacing, eight inch spacing, whatever you have between every single corn plant, it needs to look perfect. Just, just like a picket fence in your yard. 